So in lesson one, we looked at how we could create a table in a Google document and insert some facts about different rivers around the world. In lesson two, we wrote a paragraph and then we highlighted the key words within that paragraph. And now we're going to use those key words in a presentation, which will then be narrated in further lessons. Go to your Google Drive, and now we want to create a Google slide presentation. So the first thing we need to do is add a title to our presentation. So we'll, we can do what we want with this title page, but I'm just gonna make it very simple, and I'm gonna put rivers around the world, and give it a subtitle as the author of myself. Let's click in our title here, and again, it will take the title of the presentation that we've put in this slide, but we want to add our name as well, so our tutor and teacher knows whose it is. Okay, so there's our first slide. Obviously, you can do a little bit more with that if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it as a blank slide like this at the moment. Now what we want to do is add a new slide. So we can click on this drop-down menu here, and we want a blank slide inserted. So let's insert that. Depending on how many columns you've got, and in our case, we have three columns for the three different rivers, you need to do a new slide for each of the rivers. So we're gonna add two more slides. Now again, if this is a collaborative document, each student would take a separate slide and concentrate on the river for their slide, okay? The idea behind this, we're gonna create a presentation and all the information we want is on one slide only. So for the Nile, there will be one slide. For the Amazon, there will be one slide and for the Thames, there will be one slide. All information will be on those slides and here's how you do it. So firstly, let's close down the themes. So the first thing we want to do with this slide is to add the title of the river. So we can go to text, insert a text box, and we can either copy and paste this from our document or we just type it in. Now let's make this quite big and then increase the size of the box and let's put that in the middle or maybe just down a bit. And now what we want to do is we want to insert a picture of the Nile. Now we could go back to our document and then take this picture here, copy this picture, go to our presentation and then paste the picture in. So that's one way of doing it. We can increase the size here and place it where we want it. Now notice these guidelines. You can see the guidelines as we move our picture around. That's placing it in the correct place within the slide. You don't have to take any notice of those, but it's a good guide. Otherwise, what we could do, we could go to our tools, we could go to the research tool, we could type in the Nile, go to images, and then take one of these pictures and drag this picture into the presentation. And then it will automatically place it in. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna ignore that one for now, so I'm gonna delete that, and we go back to our original picture. Okay, so we've got our title of our river here. Now what I want to do is I want to use animations to fade this in and fade it out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna group this. So to group it, you select the picture and then you press the shift key and then you select the text. Now we can go up to arrange and then we click on group. Equally, what we could do, we can right click and group here as well. So now we've got a group for these two objects on the screen. Now we want to animate them. So I'm gonna right click and we go down to animate. This brings up the animation window. Now I want these to fade in and fade out every time I press a key on the keyboard. So here we've got fade in and on click, all right? So we want it on click or on spacebar. And now we want to add another animation, all right? And this is going to be fade out. So now if we play this presentation, we go to our first slide, rivers around the world. Let's go to our next slide. When we press the space bar, it fades in. When we press the space bar, it fades out. So now what we need to do is we need to start adding the rest of our keywords. So let's go to our, doc uh, our document, go down to our paragraph. 
And we already have the Nile, and the next keyword is longest river around, longest river in the world. So let's copy that. So I'm going to copy that back to our presentation, and then we want to do Shift Command V to paste. And remember, if you do Shift Command V rather than Command V, it takes the formatting of the current document. Okay, so we can shrink this down. Let's make this text bigger. Shrink this down to the right size, and I'm going to drag this here, and I'm going to spin it around. Now it doesn't matter that it's overlapping. Now let's go back to our images. Do we have an image of this? We could use this image here of the map. So let's. Copy that back to so Command C to copy. Let's put our image of the map in this corner, like so. Now, our the idea is this is going to look a mess. That's what we want. We want this slide to look messy. But what I do want is for them to both fade in together. So to fade them in together, we don't group them, but we can select them. So let's select the picture and press the Shift key to select the text as well. Add animation, and then we want to fade in with both of these. We can see here this is fading in, and this is fading in. Now, what we want to do, we want to fade the text out, but not the picture. So, let's select the text, add an animation, and then this one fades out. So the the picture of the map will stay in place. Let's play the presentation. There's our fade in, fade out of the Nile. Fade in, and then the text disappears, and you can see now how we are starting to build this presentation. So then, what you need to do is you need to continue on and complete all the keywords within your paragraph. So we take the next one, we go back to our presentation, Command Shift Command V. Let's increase the size of that. 30, make it a little bit wider. Place it down here. We'll leave it at horizontal. We click on it, and this one, we're not going to have an image for this one. Add animation. We're going to fade in, and then we want to add another one and fade out. So you continue that until you've done all of the highlighted words. I'm going to go through and do that now. So there we have our completed first slide. So if they're working collaboratively, they would have created three slide three and four as well. I'm just going to concentrate on slide two at the moment. So it does look a mess. But when you play the presentation, as we are going to do here, we press present, and now everything is going to fade in and fade out just as we want it. So the next stage is to use a screencasting tool like QuickTime in order to narrate through your presentation using the script from your Google Doc.